very fair, Judge. I'm not gonna lie. This is a random thing for us, like, to happen out of nowhere. We taking a recess. Shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, right? I've just wasted all of your effort. Damn. Even sir. You kill your dog? I didn't want to believe in myself, detective, but it's the truth. I deserve to be punished. Pause. <laughs> murder is murder, no matter what what the circumstances. Just crazy, just crazy. Nick, what are you doing? Oh, I'm just reading to the court record one more time. I'm getting my case ready. Case for what? Huh? Isn't it obvious? We want to prove that Miles Edgeworth is innocent. What, what are you talking about, pal? He just admitted to it! He confessed that he did it. In court! I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry, Edgeworth. Sorry, I almost said it in the dumpster voice. <laughs> I don't believe your nightmare. Yeah, you're on cap. What? Just a dream. Not real. You're on cap. The truth is right here in this court record. In any case, tighten your belts. The real fight just is just beginning. Yeah, yeah, put your pants up. I'll prove you're innocent, trust me. Right. That's a good friend right there. Now then, I would like to resume our trial. Judge, Miles Edgeworth has admitted his own guilt. He has, he has confessed his crime. Let us begin by hearing his testimony. And then, through pointless, the, that, oh, then though pointless, let the defense do their cross-examining. The statute of limitations on the DL6 incident runs out today. Though it's unconventional for me, I'd like to run this one by the book. I see. Does the defense have any objections? None at all. No, Your Honor. Vaughn, Parma, you knew this was gonna happen from the very beginning, didn't you? Very well. Will Miles Edgeworth take the stand? Will the witness state his name and profession? Miles Edgeworth, I'm a prosecuting attorney. Mr. Edgeworth, 15 years ago you mistakenly killed your father, Gregory Edgeworth. Is this correct? It is correct. Then testify about this matter to the court. When Edgeworth was telling me about this dream yesterday, I noticed something. One detail didn't quite fit. That will be the key, but only if I can get it to work. Please. Please. Oh, okay. yes. That day, I had gone to the courtroom to observe one of my trials, my father's trials. Uh... As we want to leave, an earthquake struck, trapping us in the elevator. My father and Mr. Yogi lost their composure and began to argue. Just then, something heavy fell at my feet. I picked it up and threw it at Mr. Yogi. I wanted them to stop fighting. A moment later, there was a single gunshot, then a scream. It was a terrible scream. I remember it to this day. That's all. Hmm. And until now, you thought this memory was a dream? We were stuck in that elevator for five hours. Golly! The oxygen in that elevator ran out, and I lost my memory of the events. Bah! The same claim as Mr. Yogi made. Very well. 
Mr. Wright, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. It's kind of fucked up, because ain't that technically his son that he's over here prosecuting right now? Mm-hmm. This nigga don't care. Nigga don't care. Now what? All right. All right. All right. All right. I want to press on that. Hold it. Did you know it was a pistol when you threw it? Bro, what? I'm nine, not dumb. I think I knew. I knew it was dangerous. So you for mm, you are not the smartest kid. <laughs> He's nine. You expect kids to be smart? I knew I had to pick up a gun at nine. He he was trying to protect his daddy. I still wouldn't have thrown the gun. I wouldn't have picked up the gun in the first place, but you know, this nigga don't be thinking sometimes. But the air was getting so thick, I panicked. So you're saying that you threw the pistol at Mr. Yogi? I was in a daze. Oh, what evidence do we oh. even have? Do we? Do we know? Press on that. Uh. Oh. Hmm. We'll yeah. find we'll find something. Oh. The gun fired once. Let's see. We got the photo. None of this. Th let's see. This don't matter. This don't matter. This don't matter. This don't matter. Don't matter. Don't matter. We're done with Polly. It's really just these three things in this picture of Misty Faye, I think. Hmm. Yes. I think after I threw it, I lost consciousness. Since then. They've echoed in my head every day. That gunshot and that horrible scream. Scream? Not the painting. Can you press on that? Yeah. To this day! To this day! It's crazy. Yes, I can practically practically hear it now. I doubt I will ever forget that screen as long as I live. There it is. One part of the testimony that clearly contradicts the evidence. But I don't know what it means. Find out quick. Okay. The screen. The screen. Okay. I guess we should read the DL6 file, shouldn't we? Yeah. Okay. Uh, the case summary. December 28th, 2001. Elevator, District Courthouse. Air in the elevator was depleted at the time of the incident. No clues found on the scene. The victim was Gregory Edgeworth, age 35. A defense attorney trapped in the elevator from re returning from a lost trial with his son, Miles Edgeworth, age 9. A bullet was found in the heart. The weapon, uh, murder weapon was fired twice. The court, the suspect was Yanni Yogi. He was a court bailiff, elevator, memory loss, deprivation, and his fiance dead. So how could he scream if there was like no oxygen? No oxygen in there. Yeah. I knew you were gonna say that. Is that a dumb like thing to say? Like, I mean, logically, no. But hold on. Yeah. There was a single gunshot, then it's gonna hold up. Single gunshot, then it's screen right there. Evidence. Yeah, you're done for, dummy. You're done for. Is he a dummy or is he just like sad? Yeah, you're done for, guilty. Yeah, you're done for. Objection. Are you sure you only heard one gunshot, my boy? Yes, I'm sure of that. I heard that shot and the scream. Then everything faded. I was unconscious until the rescuers came. I see. No, Your Honor. Unfortunately, you don't. You got cataracts. You're blind, idiot. Eyes for decoration. Exactly. 
Look at this file one more time. That plainly contradicts the witness's testimony. You do enjoy dragging out that you file. You for no reason. I don't accept this evidence unless you can tell me what page it's on. Which page contradicts Miles Edwards' and, uh, testimony? Dang it, I cannot remember. Oh no, I can't remember. It's not like it's the victim data or something. Oh no! Look at the victim data. Look at the battle. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Look at the victim data on this file. It says quite plainly. The murder weapon was fired twice. Two times. Miles Eckworth only heard one gunshot. He Larry butts you. <laughs> he did. Yet the murder weapon was fired twice. First shot was the accidental firing when the pistol was thrown. So who fired the remaining shot? Who was flickering the lights? <laughs> Nosferatu? Hmm. Was there perhaps another shooter who fired that second shot? Your Honor, as I'm sure you're aware, this incident occurred 15 years ago. The evidence is dated. The pistol did fire twice. However, we do not know when that second uh, shot was fired. It might have been fired the day before the incident. There is no proof that the second shot had anything to do with this incident. Nah, there is proof, idiot. What? What? Bro, what are you talking about, bro? Hmm. I see, I see. You do have a point, Mr. Wright. The murder weapon was fired twice, if we have heard. One of those shots was fired by the defendant, a boy at the time. Do you have any proof that the other shot was fired has something to do with this case? Yeah, yeah. Your Honor, I think I will be able to show you proof. What? Impossible. Now, now, Mr. Von Karma, save your surprise for after you've seen the evidence. Very well, Mr. Wright, show us your proof. Do you have any evidence that the second firing of the pistol is related to this incident? Show us for the picture. Yeah. He's done for. He's done for. Get him out of here. Jinx is time to shine. Here. Jinx is time to shine. Yay! Look at this photograph. Jinx carry. Look Jinx, at this Jinx photograph. Carry. I'm sorry. This is Jinx W. <laughs> Jinx up. Winks. No club. Yep. Winks. Exactly. No club. This is a photograph of the scene of the murder of the crime 15 years ago. I don't think I ever liked it. I can see that the victim lying there is Gregory Edgeworth. This proof that the this murder weapon. The, oh. This proves that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. This photo proves it. So, let me get this straight. This photo proves two shots were fired. Where? You got cataracts, bro. Your Honor, please get a clue. Okay, I'm pointing to a contradiction. So, like the bullet, the bullet, the, the bullet in the glass right there, right? He gotta be lying. Take that. Ash could be obvious. The contradiction is here, Your Honor. Are you blind? I see. A bullet hole in the door. Your Honor. Gregory Edgeworth was killed by a shot from the pistol. Yet there's also a bullet hole in the elevator door. Stop, Your Honor, please. We also know that the murder weapon was fired twice, bro. You're d thus someone other than Edgeworth fired that second shot, bro. You're on. You're on something. He's smoking. Did you take your medication today, Grandpa? Order, order, Mr. Wright. What are you driving? Oh my God! There's no way he's not this dumb. He can't be. 
It's simple, Your Honor. At the time of the incident, two shots were fired. One went into Gregory Edgeworth's heart. The other hit the elevator door. Remember the defendant lost consciousness after the shot he fired rang out. In conclusion, we must agree that the second shot was fired by someone else. Mr. Wright, but who could that be? The murderer, of course. Okay. I knew I should have stepped in before your wild fantasies got out of hand. Mr. Wright, look once more at the DL6 case file. Look closely. Try the case summary page. Case summary. That's on page one. Look at what is written there. Not a single clue was found on the scene. Ah, you're on cap. You're on cap, liar. If that pistol had indeed been fired two times, then the other bullet would have been discovered on the scene. He does have a point. The second bullet has never been found. Why? Because the second bullet does not exist. The bullet that claimed Gregory Edgeworth's life was the one fired by his own son. That is the truth of this matter. The whole truth. It was undoubtedly something else that made the bullet hole in the door. Like what? Yeah. What, do Bayless carry guns? I guess he does, because where else would this gun come from? Yeah, that was one of the same thing. You know, like, wait, why was the gun there in the first place? I know a defense attorney can't have one. This and nigga has no reason to have that one. That nigga nine years old. He don't need the gun. <laughs> order. I will have order. Mr. Pr M Mr. Price, Mr. Wright has proven one mm -hmm. thing to us quite clearly that the murder weapon was fired twice at the time of the incident. However, as Mr. Von Karma says, the second bullet fire was not found at the scene. It is highly unlikely that the police merely overlooked this second bullet. So, all we have is the single bullet fired. I'm afraid I have to discount the defense's claim. Tisk indeed. I praise the judge for his wisdom in, in this matter. Shut the fuck up. No, you wanted to be him. I, I said I wanted to be all prosecutors. Let's make that clear. Still hate him. I'm about to be some prosecutors that I hate, so it doesn't matter. Go ahead. I don't believe that the second bullet didn't exist. Was I wrong? Yeah. Was I on tap? Yeah. Have I been wrong about this whole incident? Yeah. Have I been on tap? What are you doing, Nick? Why aren't you raising object objection? I'm sorry, Maya. I. What? I, it looks like I was wrong. Nick? Second bullet wasn't there. And my conjectures are for nothing. I was on cap. No. But you said you'd do it, Nick. You said you get Edgeworth declared innocent. I'm sorry. It's just, when I saw the photograph, I thought that two shots had been fired. Two shots are fired, you dumb fuck. I was so certain of it. I thought I'd won. I was. I'm, I'm on cap right now. But there was another person. Someone else who fired the killing shot. But now. It's wrong to think it could be that simple. This case has stood unsolved for 15 years. Nick. Well, it seems that we have finally cleared up this incident. There's no way. Only one bullet was found at the scene of the crime. Oh no. That shot was fired by Miles Edgeworth. Precisely. 
I would like to ask one thing of Miles Edgeworth before passing my verdict. Have you been paying attention to the trial so far? Yes, Your Honor. Do you have any objections? No, no I do not. So you killed your father, though it was not your intention. Yes, I did. Oh no. He's accepted the guilt. Very well. The statute of limitations on the murder of Gregory Edgeworth runs out today. Therefore, I must pronounce a verdict on the defendant today, right here. Right now. Indeed. Does anyone have any objections? I've been here before too many times. It's just like my first day in court. Why is your back always up against the wall? There are so many things oh, I know I can say. Nah. Mine's going blank. I can't find the words. Mr. Wright? I have. Come on. We have an objection. We and that is? Word. I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Do we even have an objection? Objection. Your Honor. I object. Mr. Wright, on what grounds do you object, hmm? Oh. Nick? Oh, oh, this case is perfect. Oh no. <laughs> it must exist. Must exist. The second oh. bullet. Yeah, this is me. I'm a ghost. No. Let's go. Let's go. Clutch. What? Did you just say? N nothing Second bullet must exist. But where? Someone took it. It seems like waiting is not going to produce any answers from Mr. Wright. Wait, Your Honor. Hmm? I, uh... The, the second bullet. You know... It existed. What? Well, we've just heard proof that it did not exist. We didn't, though. I realize that, Your Honor. I'm really grasping here. I'm stretching. I'm Jake the dog. I'm Stretch Armstrong. I'm Reed Richards right now. Just... Someone took it from the scene of the crime. That's what happened. But who? The murderer. The murderer. Then tell us, just who is this murderer? It's you! I'm still thinking about that one. Hmm. So the criminal took the second bullet, but why? Huh? First of all, how would they have found it? It's not easy to find a stray bullet, Mr. Wright. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to search for the bullet? Murderer had to find him. Yeah. But why? Why? Probably to cover up the tracks. Okay. Oh god. Uh, of course there was a need. That's why they took it. What possible reason could they have had? Well... The reason the murderer took the second bullet away from the scene, from, from, from the scene with them is... Murder was cautious. All these pretty much mean like the same thing, pretty much? Yeah. Like they lead to the same thing. The bullet will be proved. If I get a penalty, a... Frosty, I'm very sorry. It's okay. I believe in you for once, Jinx. Uh... Um, well, the murderer was very cautious sort, you see. That's why the murderer had to search for uh, that bullet. If that was the case, why should they have taken the bullet from inside of Gregory Edgeworth as well? That the is true. Fingerprints. That is huh? true. They should have just taken the whole gun if that was the case. Why would they only take one of the two shots fired? Oh, right. 
Mr. Wright, have you really thought this all the way through? I'm going I'm to have sorry, to penalize Frosty. you. You're fine. Ah, this isn't going well. Was there some pressing need for the murderer to take the bullet? Was there a need? Hmm. I mean, it led us to a second thing. So I'm thinking there was a need. Okay. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oh, uh, the murder had spent the time to look for a, st a, st a straight bullet. I haven't got a clue. What's wrong, Mr. Wright? Um, uh, I am, um... Bah! The murder had no reason to take that bullet. You don't want to admit it, but it's true. Uh. Had to take it. Had to take it? Murderer? What does that mean? You're thinking too normal. Think crazy. Press the wrong button into the right thing. You're welcome. I appreciate it. Don't think why the bullet was taken. <laughs> Subconscious. Think why they had to take the bullet. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, well, the murderer had no intention of t taking the uh, bullet from the scene. But the murderer had to take the bullet. Had to, Mr. Wright? What do you mean? Well, for instance... For instance, what? Uh, maybe the bullet, uh, yeah. hit the murderer. The bullet hit the murderer? I'm just saying, for instance. I mean, if it hits you, would you have to take it with you? You'd have to take it with you, wouldn't you? It's not like you could perform surgery right there. You know? Oh no. I look like an idiot. Wait a second. I was just talking off the top of my head. What if that's really what happened? Let me get this straight. So at the time of the murder, the murderer themselves was shot. And they left with the second bullet still inside them. Thus leaving only one bullet at the scene of the crime. Um, yes, I guess that's how it would work. Yes. But there's a problem with that. Oh, you're smart right. for once? Dumbass. The other two people in the rescue, uh, uh, other two people rescued from the elevator, Miles Edgeworth and Yanni Yogi, were both unharmed. So that would mean... The murderer came from outside. Yes. Yep. Two men fight inside the elevator. Trying to stop them, the boy picks up the pistol at his feet and throws it. Bang. The pistol discharges. Pause. And the bullet. Pause again. Bullet goes through the elevator door and hits the murderer outside. That's a scary picture. Yes, it is. Mm. Pretty nice art, though. The boy loses consciousness. Why he look like Nick Fury? That's a good question. He does look Nick Fury. I'm about to say Avengers, assemble. <laughs> then the murderer opens the elevator door and sees the man inside. Bang. No energy drink. Hmm. Mr. Wright, you are truly the most unpredictable defense attorney I've ever known. I can tell you're grasping, but I cannot deny the possibility of what you're saying. He said, then I'll do it! What are you saying? Deny it! Deny it! No one involved with the case incident, y'all, was wounded. Like, there was no murderer. Hmm. No one was wounded at the time of the incident. He's right. I can't think of anyone. Hey, Nick? Huh? I just thought of something really crazy. Oh, thank you. Crazy? Remember what Mr. Grossberg said yesterday? 
Gregory Edgeworth dealt a blow to his perfect trial record. <sighs> wow. It must have been quite a shock for Von Karma. Yeah. He took a vacation for several months after that, you see. Was that a giggle? No, nah, was that a giggle that she just... Alright, yeah. Um... I yawned, yeah, I'm sorry. No, nah, I yawned too. Was that a giggle right there? Because I yawned? I didn't hear anyone giggle. <laughs> yes, right. an unusual event for the man. And that was the first and last vacation he's taken in his many years of prosecuting. What if one comma didn't take vacation because of shock? Took it because he was injured. Which would mean. It only mean one thing. He was murdered in the DL6 incident. He was the man who shot Gregory. Right. I was right. I was right. Yes. I was right. I was right. It was Von Karma! I was fucking right! No, hold on, hold on, hold on, Jinx. Wait, let's keep going before I say anything. Man. Something wrong, Mr. Wright? You seem dazed. Uh, no, Your Honor. Well? You have indicated the possibility that the murderer came from outside. Can you give us the name of your suspect? <laughs> uh -oh. Should I come out and say it now? Why would, I save it for, why would I save it for a better time? Loud like, and proud. Say it right now. <laughs> Your Honor. There's a suspect. One lone suspect. He looked nervous. Well, this certainly is interesting news. And you know Edgeworth is like, for real? A suspect? <laughs> It's not me? Oh my god. <laughs> Very well, Mr. Wright. Who is your suspect? <laughs> Why? Don't stutter! It makes you weak! My hands are shaking. Spit it out, B! The what? <laughs> it's Vaughn. Karma. Vaughn Karma? The whole... The whole... <laughs> You mean THE Von Karma? The prosecutor? The one standing over there? Wow. You... You don't object? Hmm. I see no need. Why honor this ridiculous outburst, outburst with my objection? What? What? Because you took a vacation seven months starting the day after the incident. You find yourself in a perfect room. You take a long vacation without any reason. So you're claiming that I took an injury to heal my- Wait, you're taking a, a vacation- <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I took, an, I took an injury to heal your vacation. So you're claiming that I took a vacation to heal my injury from the incident. Fascinating. Prove it. I would have needed to have surgery, no? Where did I undergo a knife at, Mr. Wright? Bring the doctor that operated on me. Have him testify. Ugh. Don't let him bitch you. Exactly. Let's find out who this doctor is. It's no use. It's no use! Why do we both think of... Sure. Edward does give silver vibes now that we're talking about it. No. I know Von Karma, perhaps too well. He's perfect. He wouldn't have leave any clues. What? He probably didn't even undergo surgery. That will leave a doctor as a witness. Well, you can always just kill the doctor. But he's that perfect. So, so what, Nick? Did Von come and pull, pull the bullet out by himself? That sounds like it hurts. A lot. You gotta dig in there. That sounds That's like it hurts. It sounds like it hurts so bad. No, it could be. 
Put your full bullets from out of yourself. Jesus Christ! For figure out your terraria on your own time. Wait, wait. What does that mean? The bullet has to be somewhere. Where? Well, Mr. Wright, can you produce evidence that proves I was shot? I got evidence. It's your shoulder. No, wait, 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 wait! Wait. <laughs> okay. What do you want to say? What do you want to say, James? Oh, no. Just scared. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hi, scared. Hi, Frosty. Ah, so, what do you think, Jinx? Maybe it's his shoulder. <laughs> Alright, I guess we're going to show evidence then. Uh, hopefully we don't have to physically show evidence throughout our whole entire career. You All right, show evidence. Karma. I'll prove it. Time to show evidence. And I'll even use the evidence. I know you... I'll even use evidence. I know how much you like it. What? That evidence that proves the wrong. Oh, this is not me. The evidence they, that proves the wrong. Hell yeah, we do. Okay. Yeah. yeah, we do. Uh, go to the uh thing. Go to the the, the photo. Which photo? Yeah, I want to go to the photo first. The uh the, the photo with the DL6 incident, not the overhead map. Wait, go to the bullet. This is taken from Edgeworth's heart. Okay, just making sure. Uh, go to the picture. Show it clearly. Alright, just making sure. Now, also. That DL6 file. Does not mention Von Karma at all. It just says the weapon was fired twice. Hmm. You're right. You said heck yeah. Wait. Heck yeah, we got evidence. Yep. That the thing is, that the thing is in his building. Uh-huh. Now, I'm about to read Richards this once more. I'm about to read okay. Richards heavily. Uh -huh. I'm about to read Richards. Watch this. So, <clears throat> uh, that metal detector. Yep. Oh, God. This it? is yeah. his shoulder. Wait a minute. That's why I'm still hanging. Yeah. In his shoulder. Right there. That metal detector. In his shoulder. That's the only thing that I could think of. Because none of you take this. Long karma is perfect. Who would risk surgery leaving an inch leaving an evidence trail? So then I ask, where's the bullet now? I think I think it unlikely that Vaughn Karma performed surgery on himself. You you don't mean Mm-hmm. I do. There's a possibility that the bullet is still inside. Vaughn! Coma. In here. Is it even possible for all these years? He should be getting poisoning, shouldn't he? Well, there's only one way to find out. We could use this metal detector. Well, Vaughn. Karma. We're gonna run this over you and see what we find. Pause? Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, you sweating, buddy. I like this You're animation sweating. of him. I refuse. I like this. Yeah. You refuse? But refusing this means you acknowledge that the bullet is still inside you. Oh, that's unfortunate. See, let me personally. Order. Order, order. Your Honor, the defense requests that we be allowed to use the metal detector. Judge, I call for a suspension of this trial. This is an invasion of privacy. We can't, dude. Objection. Objection. The statute of limitations runs out in this case today. Yeah, sorry, buddy. Let's move. It was you who said we had to end it right here, right now. <clears throat> Wait, okay, can you guys hear me? Yeah. 
Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm asking because my computer froze. Anyway, what if the screen Edgeworth heard was Von Karma? I mean, we're in the right direction. Niggas got shot. There's a bullet in his arm. Enough. I permit the use of the metal detector. Mr. Von Karma, you will submit yourself to the testing. Okay, submit. Nick, what does this mean? I don't know, but we have to <clears throat> give it a shot. Get it? Because you got that anyway. Yep. Ooh. 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 That's unfortunate. Yep. Yeah. Run that. He reacted. Something's inside of his shoulder. The bullets. Ah. Uh huh. Mr. Von Karma. You! It was you! You know how fucked up this situation is. It's so messed up! I killed your daddy, and then I'm gonna raise you as my own. And then let you think that you killed him for 15 years. That's fucked up. It is fucked up. I was afraid this would happen. And so I remain silent. Mm hmm? Indeed, there is a bullet in my shoulder. However, it has nothing to do with this incident. You would have had it removed, though, wouldn't you? What? 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 I was shot in the shoulder long before the DL6 incident. I claim that the bullet in my shoulder has no relation to DL6. I'm pretty sure we got evidence against that. I, we don't, but like, yeah. shut up. But, Mr. Von Karma, can you prove it? <laughs> prove? I have no obligation to prove anything. It's Oh, my fault. Not I. Mr. Wright. Well, can you prove it? Can you prove that the bullet in Mr. Von Karma's shoulder was from the DL6 incident? Of course he can't. You don't have any DL6 incident. And that's thanks to me. <laughs> That's because you took it out of the records room yesterday, mother. Mm. 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 With no proof, you cannot convict me of any crime. So sorry, Mr. Wright. Mm. Oh, sorry, Mr. Von Karma. What? We were close. One day away from freedom. You know what he would have. I. Never mind. I'm not gonna. But you see, I do have proof. What? Who would have thought you would have dug your own grave trying to convict Edgeworth? I can link that bullet in your shoulder to the DL6 incident. Here's my final proof. Final piece of evidence we need to produce. And Jinx, I'm I'm rewarding you half a point because when I asked the, Only half Let me finish. Because when I asked the question, it was about Robert Hammond. Yep. But you but you technically did get a murderer right. Take it for record, that's where it's still the ballistic markings. Which means that the bullet in his shoulder would also do the same thing, huh? Yeah. Take that. But you're in the lead, Jinx, so that's good. Yeah. That's... A bullet? Where did you get that? Yeah, Why it's is... over. It's over. Get out of here. 
Yeah. You why drop you, your bitch? Why you snatched her from your hands when she jumped at you? Yeah, W Maya, wire right there. Yeah. Maya. This is the bullet used in the DL6 incident. This was taken from the heart of the victim, Mr. Gregory Edgeworth. Bullet is preserved quite nicely with all the ballistic markings attached. It didn't hit bone. Ballistic markings. You may recall the term. It came up in the first trial two days ago. Did it? <laughs> that was so long ago for us. Yeah, it did. It was like uh, the reason that we knew that the bullet came from the gun that shot uh, Hammond. Mm -hmm. Ballistic markings are the fingerprints of the weapon. All bullets fired from a gun are marked with the weapon's unique pattern. By examining the markings, you can tell which weapon fired the bullet. It's quite accurate. We have two, we have bullets, two bullets in our possession. Oh. Oh. Yeah, we have two bullets in our possession. One, the bullet removed from Gregory Edgeworth's heart. Two, the other. Mr. Von Karma is the bullet buried in your- wait, Mr. The other, Mr. Von Karma is the bullet buried- okay, 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 I can read it now. The other, Mr. Von Karma, is the bullet buried in your shoulder. Sorry, I have to read that. We can analyze both bullets. Then if the markings matched, we would know that both bullets had been fired from the same gun. The very same pistol, in other words. The murder weapon that killed Gregory Edgeworth. Mm. Yeah, yeah, sit down. Yeah, sit down. Yeah. Mr. Von Karma? You will let us remove that bullet from your shoulder. Huh? Then we'll compare the ballistic markings to those on this bullet. And solve this case once and for all. You gonna snap? Well, Mr. Von Karma? You gonna snap? Snap? <laughs> wow, he is. Ah, feels nice. He's still going. <laughs> ah, feels great. That's funny. That's great. <laughs> oh my goodness, Jesus, you're a prophet. I, right. I heard that scream before. <laughs> nah, hold on, hold on, hold on. You know what? Jinx might actually be Maya. Hold on, hold on. She's like if Maya was useful. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I, I know. Not the pony music. Turn this pony music off. I can't on hear it. Dang it, J uh, uh, sorry, day. Dang it, dang. <laughs> if you gotta hear it, if I mean, if I gotta hear it, you gotta hear it. So, fifteen years ago. Wow. Von Karma, it was you who screamed. Mr. Von Karma? <laughs> I love his freak out animation. So, it was you. You and your father are my curse. Damn. What are you doing? Good lord. You good? Damn. Oh, we, we, we just need to like look at this. Ah, that feels nice. Ah, that's, I that, told that, y'all he is a bitch ass nigga. Taking the weight off my shoulders, just watching him bang his head against that wall. Ah, hmm. <laughs> you're like I can die right now. I'd be happy. Your father shamed me with a penalty on my record. Grow up, and you. You left a scar on my shoulder that would never fade. You deserved it. Uh-huh, and now you'll never get your vengeance back. Yeah, you'll never get your vengeance I'll bury you! I'll bury you with my bare hands! Death! Death! I Damn. am not getting brain damage. Lord. 
Yep, there's nothing that he could do. Yeah, there's nothing he could do about it now. Chief Prosecutor, I am sorry. Von Karma, it's not like you to make this kind of error. I never would have thought that Edgeworth would be the one to catch you. I was careless. I'm sorry, but you will have to be penalized. I've covered for you in the past, but not this time. That is a scary thought to hear. It is scary. Edgeworth! Thought. It was a shock like none I've ever known. Me? Penalized? It took hours for me to get, regain my composure. Suddenly I found myself in the darkness. I was it's in the court that, records room. It's really not. It's deep enough to kill somebody? No. I must have wandered in there without thinking where I was going. The room was pitch black. The lights must have gone out. I went out into the hall to feel my way for the elevator. I pressed the button, nothing happened. Then, there was a noise. I was in pain. A horrible pain. A horrible burning pain in my shoulder. Just then, the lights came back on, and the elevator door opened before my eyes. I was Nick Fury the whole time. I saw three people inside, all laying unconscious from oxygen deprivation. Much to my surprise, a, p a pistol lay at my feet. I knew then. It was destiny. I don't think it was. I think that's not bad. <laughs> so crazy. He's crazy. He is crazy. Bang. I'm gonna shoot your dad. In his last moments, Gregory Edgeworth was, Gregory Edgeworth was still unconscious. He died, never knowing who shot him. Later, he spoke through a medium blaming Mr. Yoki. He was fooled. It was the perfect crime. Now you know well you couldn't have thought of that. You know you didn't think of that. You just lucky for that. Mm hmm Tisky B. Who would have thought another man would come to open that elevator door? Judge. What? What are you doing? Do your job. Bring an end to this miserable charade. Now, end it. Now you embarrassed, huh? Very well. It appears that we have come a very long way to the end of this maze. Fifteen You're years a bad later, judge. Mr. Miles Edgeworth. Yes, Your Honor. You were innocent. You are innocent. As you said, it was all a nightmare. Yes, Your Honor. Court finds the defendant Miles Edgeworth not guilty. Guilty. Well, but Von Karma, on the other hand, I told y'all he sucks. I will never get that vengeance. Yeah, it's over. Dumb, dumb, idiot, fool, dummy. I'm not gonna lie. Ace Attorney people, they got, they, everybody got a broken home. That is all. Yeah. Court is adjourned. Oh, you haven't even seen the broken homes yet. But fatherhood doesn't exist in this game. Either you're dead or absent. Nick, Nick, we did it! Do you see his face? <laughs> Von Karma looked even paler than usual. Cooked his shit. <laughs> He's pretending to be all cool, but inside you crushed him, Nick. Definitely. Crushed. Definitely. You could tell he was embarrassed. Yeah. I gotta say, I'm impressed. <laughs> It's pretty close, though. I'm sure we'd had it. I know I was on the verge of tears the whole time myself. But now it's all just a good memory. For who? <laughs> For nobody. Not Edgeworth! Oh, this is a 15 year, like, trauma. No. So it's finally over. Edgeworth. Right? Yeah. Say it. Say it. I'm not sure how to say this. Yeah, say it, boy. Say it, I boy. I know, I know. Try. Thank you. Yeah, be a good boy and say it. I see. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Good boy. You're welcome.
I think you could have done better than that. Ugh. Sorry. I'm not good at this sort of thing. You gotta learn that choice. He's got you there. I don't know what type of... I don't know what noise that is. <laughs> That's the sound of the police. That's the sound of... No, okay, I'm not. Uh, we're, we're, I don't know what it's doing. <laughs> okay, we'll move on then. Before. We'll move on. What are you begging? Mason, pal. You can also replace that with... You can replace that with... Ew! <laughs> Amazing, pal. You pulled through just like I thought you would. I'll never forget this. Oh, you one, pal. And not as party. Dinner's on me. Is it burgers? With your broke ass. Yeah, and my salary went down a bit this month. Yeah, with your broke ass. No. But who cares? He broke her than Phoenix. No. You shouldn't take a lesson. You should take a lesson from the Detective Gumshoe. That's how you say thank you. Nigga said thank you. Now you're pushing me. Stop this. Hmm. <laughs> I see. Yeah. Ahem. Like I said, <laughs> that's the sound no. of the police. There's no way. I feel foolish. Don't worry. Take a little bit of time. Will he though? Will nah, he? Edward, you gotta, you nah, Edward. Nah, Edward. Come on. I need another thank you, man. Tell Daddy thank you again. Like Daddy, a good boy. Come on. Get out of here. <laughs> For Fifteen years since I've seen Edward this unguarded. Oh my what God! Hey y'all. <laughs> I hate what? it here. Y'all were great in there. <laughs> Thank you. Yo, Edgeworth, congrats. Uh, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> thank y'all very much. I'm dead. He is not good at this. Uh, he's saying thank you like a good boy. Oh, I knew y'all were innocent from the start, of course. Bullshit. Yeah. Just look at you. you wouldn't stick your hand in a cookie jar with even when no one was there. You were the witness on the first day of the trial, weren't you? Yeah, well, let be bygones be bygones, eh? Speak. Oh, this is not me. Speaking of which, what are you doing right now, Lotta? Who, me? Oh, I went. I done went back to college. I gave up trying to be an investigative photographer pretty quick. Really? That's too bad. Huh? Isn't that the hot dog guy from the park? Oh my god, no! No. It's Lawrence Butts. Uh, it's over, Nick. My life oh is god. over. Why? Always say that. What happened? Oh, Keontae probably broke up with him. A sad face, Lawrence. What happened? It's Lorise. Oh, Nick. I'm not long for this world. What the fuck? We don't look sick. Mm -hmm. It's Beyonce. She, she's going to live in Paris. Paris, Nick, like her last Wait, girlfriend. Wait, who was in Paris? Keontae, his girlfriend. Like Cindy Stone. Could have seen that coming. Cindy Stone died, though. Exactly. <laughs> Yo, Edgy, you know. there you are. Beyonce left to Paris. Cindy Stone left this mortal coil. Um, yes, here I am. Oh, congrats, Edgy. Here's a little gift from you, Celebration. No, don't take a gift from- do not take a gift from Larry. You're going to end up being killed with that gift next time, bruh. Celebration? That's unusual for you. Hair butts. You come along, I hate it here, bruh. Not even, that, that's Harris or something like that? Harris Buttsworth. Harris, because his name is Larry's or Lori's, something like that. 
Harry's butt. Harry's butts. You come along tonight too. My treat, pal. Huh? Oh, thanks. Looking forward to it. Hey, yo, Nick. That's a sick that question me. When he says tree, that's not boost for prison food, right? Um, I don't think you'll be fine, Larry. Right. Yeah, what's up? That envelope that Air Larry gave me, it's got money in it. Oh well, yeah, that's not strange. People give money away to celebrate sometimes. It's $38, isn't it? It's $38, right? That's crazy. Huh, what a weird amount. I mean, it's not a little, but it's not a lot either. $38 exactly? Nick! Wasn't exactly the amount of lunch money that was stolen from Mr. Edgeworth in school? $38? No. Oh, sorry, it was you! Yeah. <laughs> shoulda known! You shoulda known! Who else- why- <laughs> What are you so surprised about, right? Huh? Larry was absent that day from school, right? But that doesn't automatically rule him out as a suspect. What? Think back to that day 15 years ago. Larry took the day off, but he was bored, so he came into school anyway. What the fuck? What kind of logic is that? Then he saw the money lying there, and the rest is history. Yeah, you should know why your friend. Why would you just leave your money laying there? He probably didn't. Who knows, though? He was probably a stupid kid. Wait, so y'all do, so do remember it? <laughs> I was never good at history. I don't so think we you found were good. Out, so, I, no, no, you continue. I don't think he's good at anything besides art, because that statue was pretty good. It was just heavy as hell and used in two cases to murder people, but, you know. Yeah. Uh, so, like, uh, have we solved three cases? Not solved three. Have we had three cases solved today? Have we? I think we only had two. The yeah. Robert Hammond thing, the Von Karma thing, and now this. Oh, yeah, yeah, that is three. Edgeworth, you didn't. You didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Edgeworth, you didn't know, did you? Hey, my nigga, I suspect it. I just couldn't picture Larry prote uh, protecting you like that. Like he did that day. Everyone else has. Everyone else was saying you did it. The whole class was against you, remember? Yeah, too well. Right, you may not know this, but we used to have a saying back in school when something ah. smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> I know, I know. Really, right? I'm surprised you didn't figure this out. You just squared up with Larry, like, years ago. Well, this sure isn't looking for turn events. Hey. Uh-huh. Now, now I'm about to present evidence. Two pieces of evidence. My right fist, my left fist, bro. <laughs> it's on sight, Larry. It's crazy. Jorth. Hmm? You should've told me! Nobody cared but you! Now, now, Nick, it was 15 years ago. Right! Don't you think the statute of limitations has run out, Mr. Edgeworth? I'd say so, yes. There you have it. I think there's about to be another murder right here, right now. Yeah, I have a, I have a, a suspicious feeling in my gut. You see that metal thing what? back there by that couch? That's gonna be the murder weapon. Uh, is it an ashtray? Uh, it probably is. Might be a lamp. I don't know. Where does that leave me? I became a defense attorney because of what y'all did. Like I said, it was goofy. Stupid ass move. <laughs> well, you have always been somewhat of something of an insufferable emotionalist. Damn. Me 
yeah, you can get worked up easily too. Sure, hop off my meat. It's death. The death sentence for both of you. Yeah, your fault. Man, if only I had known, I'd have become a prosecutor. I'm calling Cap on that since I played all the games. I'm calling Cap on it too because Phoenix ain't like that. The same goes for me, but the other way around. For the longest time, I thought I had met. I thought I might have killed my own dad. I thought I might have been a criminal. I became a prosecutor in part to punish myself. If I had known the truth, I might have become a defense attorney after all. Sucks. It's worth. Want to switch, right? Shit. I mean, y'all are still young. You still go to school for it. They really don't even need to at this point. They have something about that, but we'll explain that when we get there. Hey, y'all. Line up and take a photo. I'll take a photo. Hey, photo time. Let's go. Let's go. And after that, you know what I mean. Where are we going to eat? Where are we going to eat at? So frigid. F R I G I D, I think. I don't know. I hope y'all spelled that right on camera. I can edit that out. No, she got it right. I got it right. Yes. Okay. Well, then you could edit you like getting it right or something. I don't know. Detective Gumshoe took us out on the town that night. We celebrated Edgeworth's newfound freedom. Even though Edgeworth himself was still in the in, was still in detention. That's unfortunate. Y'all are bad friends. <laughs> what kind of friends are those? Where are we? Five in the morning? Oh god, who died? This is a place for death, you know. <sighs> Whoa. I went a little overboard yesterday. How much money did he spend? I don't know. You drink what you like. I, my head hurts. Oh, it's still only five. Maybe I should go back to sleep. Why am I sleeping in here? That's what I was just like. Do you not have a house? I don't know. Mm. If the way the game makes it feel, it makes like it makes it seem like. Only the prosecutors got a place to live. But I'm gonna say something. One of these defense attorneys is fucking around with their prosecutors, so they probably got a place to live too. Mm -hmm. And it ain't Phoenix. What's this? A letter? Good morning, Nick. Oh, no. You were really impressive yesterday. I know. Seeing you. It made me think about what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. I'm a spirit medium in training, of course. Spirit med. I wanted to help Mr. Edgeworth too. I wanted to help you. But I couldn't. I was. No, she's on cap. She's the only reason we did this. That's what I'm saying. Y'all called her useless and usless all the way through, and I was trying to defend Maya to the best of my abilities. But nah, no, she was useless sorry, in the beginning. Maya. She was useless in the beginning. Okay, but I've been trying to tell you, she's not useless. That's my point. So I've decided to go back to my training. And that's fine. Go be stronger. I'll become a full-fledged spirit meter starter. I couldn't say it to your face. To your face, so I left this letter. Goodbye, Nick. What? Oh no! Goodbye. What time is it? Oh no! <laughs> the first trains for the mountains have already left to the station. So. It looked cold out there. It does look cold. I guess I'm too late. By the way, I can't read. We can wait. Okay, oh, there we are. Hey! 
Nick? Fire. So, you're leaving? Damn. We almost made it through Frost without a major tag difficulty. Almost. We were almost there. We can pick it back up, though. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, being a. My computer froze again. <laughs> That's okay. Can you read it or no? Um, no, because there's a little exclamation point there. Okay, I'll so read it. it. Okay. And I'll read it to you. Can you hear me clearly? Yeah, I can hear you just fine. Okay, just okay. Think I'll read it then. It's hard being a spirit medium who can't talk to spirits. That's so sad. Poor Maya. And I think you'll do just fine without me, Nick. Oh. Be good, okay? You be good. Hold it. Hold it. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. What? What? Oh. I can see now. Okay. Well, for now, at least. I never could have saved Edgeworth without your help. Or done a bunch of stuff. Huh? On the last day of the trial, I heard her. I heard Mia's voice. You heard my sister? Yes, only her voice, but still. It was the very end when I thought we'd lost everything. Well, that's my sister for you. Except the gumshoe help from Mr. Grossberg and... Larry, I'm the only one who could help. I was Cap. You're on tizzy. You're on high tizzy right now. I'm hungry. Me too. I'm gonna eat after this. And you're the one who stopped wrong karma, Maya. Huh? I, I didn't do anything. All I did was wander around and. Damn, did you freeze again? All I did was wander around in the day. There we go. Is that better? Yeah. Sorry, but I have evidence that you helped. Uh, evidence? So my some evidence to cheer up. It's the bullet. It's the bullet from the DL6 thing. Yeah. Take this. A bullet? Von Karma was convinced he had taken all the evidence pertaining to DL6. But you were the one who rescued the last piece of evidence that we needed. This was the bullet that put it into Von Karma. And you were the one who gave it to me. Nick. Thanks, Maya. I couldn't have done it without you. I'll be back soon. Huh? Huh? Going to do my training and come back. Yes, ma'am. Okay. I'll be waiting. Of course you will. You can't run off by yourself. You're hopeless. Now the happy Maya music playing again? Never mind. You are useless. Never mind. Yeah. Shut up. Uh, I don't know about that last call so this is it see you soon Maya oh this art is beautiful it really is <laughs> thanks Nick I think they're- I think they give credits and then a cute picture at the end of it. But that's and so it. my Oh, wait. Well, and, yeah, that's yeah, me. Yeah. And so my story ends. Time to turn a new page. And say goodbye to the novice defense attorney that I once was. Nigga, you only had four cases. Shut up. Now a new story begins. 
with the same old crazy cast of characters. I'm not reading nothing here. Yeah, exactly. You ain't graduate. I like this song. Uh, yes, Your Honor. Uh -oh, I got a bad feeling about this. Objection. Well, there's one more case after this one, and then we finish the first game. They just give credits now because it was like at one point a DLC case for the game. Mm -hmm. You know what? Maybe it would have been better if this was just the last case. It would be because I told y'all the next case that we play is my least favorite in the series. How's it that bad? You gotta you gotta play it to. First of all, it has my least favorite character ever, and second, it's just like a poorly written case. Yeah. But it does have some fun interactive stuff, and I'm trying to I'm trying to think about whether I would like to actually like play it and record it or clip it. But either way, I'm gonna be heavily involved in this case. We ain't gonna play it for we ain't gonna be waiting on it too long. I want to get it over with. But they will be up and through with a guide if she needs to be, cause I'm not doing this case. Look at this bomb. Sweating. Cat. I'm sure he's grateful. He don't even remember you. Don't nobody remember you. That's why I've been smelling something in my room. It's this organic tea tree oil. Nice. It's pungent. Quite a pungent aroma. Bell boy. Uh, we forgot he existed. I didn't. Y'all gonna show Miss May? Uh, I hope not. Who wrote the music? Did they play? Did they show who did the music yet? Cause they they did some good job. Mm -hmm. I wasn't paying attention to that part. I'm on my phone now. actually kind of going though like who I'm ready to get to the fire music though every game's music progressively gets better so why was this a DLC case and is this important to the story um somebody's story not Phoenix's but somebody's story what'd she say a DVD of a threesome hold on Huh? That's what I read. I'm like, hold on, she's speaking too fast. You doing the pink princess now? Good for you. Not the pink princess. Just a genuinely good dude. Oh God! We're sorry oh, for I got a ladder from the other day. Me. It sounds like I caught a cold. <laughs> oh y'all, y'all trading cards now? Princess trading cards. The pink princess trading cards. She can't trade them where she lives. Where she's living anyway. Mind your business. How about that? Hmm. I forgot he existed. With his yellow ass teeth. That's crazy. It's not me personally. Tender age. Shut up. We probably, I'm, I gotta, I'm really trying to figure out this next case. We're not starting it today, but like, I'm really trying to figure out because people like this case. I'm the only person who doesn't. Wow, these credits. Wait, so like for this DLC case, what happens? Look how cute this picture <laughs> is. It is. Look at dead Mia right there. Unfortunate. Oh, yeah. Why is Larry looking all creepy on Maya though? You saw that? Yeah, I saw. Yeah, we're always looking creepy. 
Hold it. We finished it. Mm. There she is. She sucks with her stupid ass glasses. Hey, bro. Well, look dumb. He just existed. Yeah, and I'm offended by that. What is that puppet thing? I don't want to. I don't want to get into this. I really don't. Nah, we gotta do this. Come on. <laughs> what about the fans? What about the fans watching? What about y'all watching over here? Hi, DJ. I love you. We got viewers. How y'all doing? Okay. I do not see him legally blind. Just. I... Oh. Maybe we'll do a clip show, if anything. Y'all can watch this case in somebody else's channel. Fuck. Crazy. So we're not gonna do that one? We probably will. We probably just won't record it. And then y'all can see. Oh yeah, Day's right. She sucks. And the... Pr okay. I'm just gonna end it here and we'll talk about it in a second. Bye, y'all. Bye. Bye.